it's uh, 10 past 6. I got up at about 5 this morning because the uh, tide's flooding in and it's the best and quickest way to um, make your way across uh, Morton, uh, Morton Bay. So that's what I'm doing. Unfortunately the wind's gusting 12 to averaging 12 knots gusting to about 15 so we've got uh, wind against tide so it's making conditions a little bit unfavorable but not too bad not too bad it looks seems to be a nice morning anyway so um, heading for Cleveland Bay to refuel and then going to make our way up the inland waterway to Southport and probably going to have to stop over somewhere during the night so yeah I'll give you a bit of a look around and goodbye Tangaluma and uh, what a beautiful place Yeah, hi there guys, um, well, we've got a big, big problem. I left Morton Bay, came across to Cleveland Bay, just got some fuel. It's just about to depart and <coughs> my GPS map said this area should be 0.1 of a metre at low tide. Um, it was still three quarters full of high tide and uh, all of a sudden boom, boom, boom. And Bob's in the shit. So, I've tried for about an hour to pull it off. Um, the keel's kind of stuck down. I've got a bit of an issue I've got to work out. So, uh, <sighs> there's my afternoon. What a silly boy. I'll never, uh, oh, don't even know what to say. Shake my head. Naughty Bob. She rises early in the morning. What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Wait hey, up, she rises. Wait hey, up, she rises. Wait hey, up, she rises. Early in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. But I in the morning. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. But I in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Heard I in the morning. Wait up, she rises. Wait. Well, guys, it's funny how things can change so quickly in 24 hours. Yesterday, I was thinking making the way to Morton Island and Tangaluma would have to be one of the top. 50 days of my life it was awesome it was such the weather was perfect the the, the fish was awesome the coral on the oh, just the diving it was such a knockout day it was really was a highlight and um and then today <laughs> today has gone for the top would definitely be in the top 50 worst days of my life i'm really disappointed that this has happened and uh but I guess you learn from your mistakes and um, and uh, I'll certainly learn from this one. So anyway, the tide's coming in. It's 4.30 p.m. and it's high tide at 9, so hopefully I'll float off sometime before then. But as I went on at nearly three-quarter high tide, I'm probably going to have to wait till most of the tide comes in. But um, fingers crossed, we definitely haven't got any holes in the hole. There's a, a bit of bark missing. Yeah, fiberglass chunks and stuff, but uh, nothing too bad uh, can certainly be repaired. Um, so I think structurally she's sound. 
and uh, I've got a couple of ropes around the keel. I did definitely snap the uh, the cable, um, the keel cable. So that's why I couldn't drag the boat off the reef um, because the keel, the weight of the 180 kilo um, keel was stuck in the rocks. I could not lift um, the, the swing keel back up. So it makes sense now why I couldn't get it off. But anyway, I've got that all tied up. So hopefully uh, with a fair bit of water under it, we should be able to just float off and uh, I'll anchor up somewhere um, in two or three metres um, of water and dive under and hopefully repair the cable. It might just be a, sh a shackle that's broken or something. So yeah, there we go. Hopefully, happy days ahead.